Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. To anyone who's new here, I go by the name of Tiamo Sipio Hautungwenya. Okay, okay. Please make sure to hit that notification, smash that subscribe button, okay? And to anyone who's a returning subscriber, thank you very much for the consistency. As you have seen by the title of this video, I am or have decided that I'm going to finally open up about the things that I've been going through and trust me for the longest time guys I've been trying to reach out to you but obviously there are certain things that were happening and I tried to actually be a boss about it and it didn't really turn out good and at the same time I try not to give so much away because you know that you do come across people that can capitalize on your feelings and whatnot. But without any further ado, let me stop rambling. As you can see, I am at the comfort of my own place. And yeah, it's not a cute background, but we work with what we have. However, um, I just got myself these cons. Um, they're from a girl of mine by the name of V. He goes by the name of uh, V Bakes. You can make sure to check it out. He makes the wonderful, loveliest, softiest. It's as per request that he get to do them orders. So, yeah, just make sure to check it out. That's not what we hear about, okay? But moving on, guys, I have decided that, decided that I'm going to open up to you guys about the things that I've been going through. If you are following the journey with me throughout this whole youtube channel you'd realize that i kept on saying that guys every time i come back i'd be a person to say that guys i'm really sorry for having been me and all of that the truth is i've been goa rushing i've been going through the most and what i can tell you is that even now come to think of it i feel like i'm still relieving trauma and at the same time also i've been trying to be a person that puts on like a brave face about the things that I went through but obviously indoors or at the comfort of self I'd break down, cry and ask myself questions which to this day still remain unanswered however, let's just get on to the video um yeah guys I've been diagnosed with depression but before, before I go further, however, I'd like for you to understand that there's, this is the first part of the video and you are also going to see the second part, which in the second part, that was actually where depression was at its peak. So I was going through, dep well, I am still, but now I feel like I'm currently recovering and I'm more content, more focused and those things that have really helped me a lot that including the comfort of family and friends because yeah so as I was saying you'll realize that there's first part and second part to this video please do not get confused the second part I did it prior to this um, I did do the first and second but I somehow got to lose the first video I don't know how but I'm making up for the first video so just take note of that and also if you see the second video you'll realize that I had really put on like the gains the weight and that wasn't because of how people would say no you're happy no hey pay sleep you start handling miracle things are going well no it had nothing to do with that but mainly because of the fact that I was stress eating so let me actually take it like I am so overwhelmed and going through so much emotion to a point where I don't know what to take and what to leave out so I'm trying not to make this video long and at the same time I'm trying to actually help you understand that regardless of whatever the case or circumstance may be you're not going through whatever that you feel that you're currently going through alone you know and in my life experiences I got to also realize that um if I feel like I'm going through the most, there's someone out there who's going through the most, you know, and and it's life. And all I have to say is that life is not easy. So I had wanted to create a list, but um, of the things that I had to go through. But I feel like it, I don't want this video to be formal. I want it to be more of a catch-up session. 
so that you all get to be welcome to my my own um comfort and my own side of world and get to understand me better so guys as you all know as and as you can see i am a gay individual i don't have to explain that and i've done enough of explaining of that and also it's not easy having to be a homosexual i've heard people say no it's not easy having to be um a woman in this country yes that too is relevant i'm not disregarding that point whatsoever but also i need for people to understand that having to be a homosexual male or homosexual or part of the lgbti community is really a trick on its own it's more of a case that we are placed under a mode of survival of the fetus because of the things that are happening i feel like we're part of the the vulnerable um majority and it's not easy so now firstly i'm going to try and summarize everything i am a gay individual i am a breadwinner to a family well to family members of three which is my brother father and brother no sorry my brother my mother and father and i am also um in the roots of having to be independent well i am independent since i have a job however i'm not happy at work because i feel like for the fact that i'm a black individual this may come across as okay it's some you ungrateful okay it's some you really have to grow out of it but i feel like the fact that i'm a black individual in a workplace where majority of the people are either white people or kimaburu you know i i feel like we'll always be at the bottom the bottom end of things and how the treatment goes it will never be equal will never be seen or regarded as equals that's not a secret and this is from my personal experiences your experiences may be different as supposed to mine but i'm saying it the way i am seeing it and experiencing it and at the same time i had to go through the depression where i think i mentioned it in one of my videos that i was very close to this guy this guy legit he was not just a friend i got to a point where i legit regarded him as a best friend from a best friend as a family member like i i wouldn't be one to stand in front or to sit in front of you and say that we didn't have the good experiences i feel like that is one of the things that really hurt the most knowing that we had like quite the fun and greatest of experiences where literally we go out and irregardless of whoever or what whatever third party that tried to intervene we still keep it strong you know we kept going however to this day one thing that i desperately want to do and feel that i'd like to hear when i approach him or see him would be to ask him this question of like exactly why why did you do whatever that you had to do to me which i'll try to detail on it but this is not the whole point of why i'm doing this video however he i'm mentioning it because he also fell part of me having to have this anxiety and also have to undergo depression and yeah so basically i had a good relationship with this guy and it was a good 6 years of it but as time went on obviously i don't know if he outgrew um having to be my friend or he just got too comfortable to a point where he felt that he can do as he please with my life or in my life and at the same time also like i i i can't be one to say that i never saw this coming but the fact that he got to steal from me like that was the final straw and the sad part was that what has the most is not the fact that he got to steal from me but it's the fact that i was aware and i knew that he did it he had done it however he still had the audacity of having to look at me straight into my eyes and say that tiama i didn't do it you know it still baffles me still hurts me i'm still i can't even say that i'm recovering cuz that one experience 
got to affect not only the relationship that I had with him, but also relationship with my friends, relationship with the partner, which now is currently my ex. I'll touch base on that, but not at this given moment. But what happened, what this experience had actually did was just to add on the insecurities and legit had me traumatized, you know? And it's 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 really sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. Because I don't know what I did to him. I feel like that is one thing that has the most when you have people do you dirty, people do you bad, and there's no reason to that. I would understand if I had to be a person that somehow did something bad to him and even didn't care to apologize about it. But to this day, I'm not aware of what I did. But anyways we move so over that experience let me put this away guys i am a bit sick i'm under the weather and even the weather is not as pleasant so just try to bear with me okay so that happened yes and it really affected me so now you can imagine i'm a homosexual big i'm currently stuck in a job which i'm not happy about I am going under financial constraints because personally there are things that I felt or still feel that I would like to accomplish and do and at the same time I'm avoiding having to compare myself with my peers because it does it does hit a nerve like it does make you uncomfortable when you see your mates have to push it have to accomplish certain things however I have learned to tell myself that you know what Tiamo everything happens for a reason and your time will definitely come it's all in due time and at the same time also i got to i can't necessarily say lose because we're in good terms but i also got to lose like two of the the closest people that i was with because i felt like i was i don't know i felt like the relationship was starting to be toxic you know i felt under pressure i felt as if now I had to fight for that relationship fight i mean i had to compete because now it wasn't a relationship between two people but three and i i felt that i was under pressure to a point where i was required to contribute and you know push to do certain things which obviously i cannot given that i have circumstances and i have objectives which not necessarily objectives but i had some things that literally had to draw me back situations that is and given the reasons of how the relationship turned out it was it was a big hoo-ha you know fights going back and forth and here's another thing that you'll have to understand guys a person can hit you physically but you get to recover that is something that you'll always remember right however words words will always be engraved and imprinted in you like i don't feel like words is words are some things that you as a person have to forget hence you need to be considerate and you need to think things through when you're about to tell or say something to someone so necessary what i'm necessarily trying to say is that should you be carried away by emotions or should you be overwhelmed by emotions i feel like you need to first take a deep breath sorry you need to first take a deep breath before having to react to whatever that you're about to say to that opposite party that being whether they did you bad or whatever the case might be so there was like an exchange of words which obviously to this day they still hurts me come to think of it however i am grateful for each and every sad experience that i went through and at the same time another thing that i need for you guys to understand is that i love doing this i love having to be in front of the camera and having to talk to you people and I really love having to feel like I am at the space where my voice is of relevance irregardless of the current subscribers that we have which do not get me wrong I'm truly grateful about that but however nothing hurts more like having to be a content creator or a youtuber and you feel like the support lacks especially when it comes to family and friends you know you feel like they're not supporting you enough or they they do not really support or see the idea or vision of what you're trying to create or build of yourself it really hurts and uh, 
and the fact that for the longest time we as content creators youtubers vloggers you can call us whatever name that suits your comfort or preference however the point that i'm trying to put across is that we put in a lot of work we sacrifice our time we have to prep up we have to put in the data we have to you know invest in this look so that it becomes attractive because now it, it even this is another part that even gets you temper with your feelings because now you you having not to get to to reach the the amount of views or subscribers somehow gets you thinking that okay is it the content that i'm delivering to the people or is it a personal thing where you get now personally i get to think gay but i'm like no we have people that are very much doing very good at it like jeffrey stars and you think okay but they're in america now it brings me back to the point of does the support lag because i'm currently in south south, south africa oh my tongue shit. <laughs> i'm currently in south africa or is it because and i am currently in south africa and opportunities are, opportunities are restricted here or is it because of support we as black individuals which i feel like we are the majority do not really support each other you know we do not really want to see each other succeed as as i would put it because it's really sad you know or is it a case of people do not get to support you because it's you that is currently push, pushing the hustle or doing it 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 really has me puzzled you know and the same people that do not get to support you are the same people that expect you to support them or help them grow. I can never understand that. So that those were one of the things that really had me at the fine, like at the straw. And most of the, I spent like the longest, not lo not longest as per se, but then I got to spend like most of the time, every time like I'd go to work, after get, going to work, I'd sit in my room and try to distract myself via snacks and Netflix. And obviously, you know, the power of mind, you always overthink things. You always get to ask yourself questions which you can't answer, obviously, rhetorical questions. You get to sit and to the most unfortunate extremes get to overdose on alcohol even do drugs somehow so that you can try to distract yourself or get that um, moment of happy place which i wouldn't recommend to anyone because that is really a dark hole that i try to i myself try to take myself out of i even got to put in the weight i remember i was telling my friend who i feel she was the only person that actually realized because sometimes i feel like every time i try to reach out to certain people which obviously i don't go personally one get to do a one-on-one -on -one with people having to say listen i'm going through this however like one of my friends got to realize that i'm not good and one time he got to bring me food by my place you know he was like i hope you haven't eaten and i remember i was having um a takeaway which is was a bunny chow and i got to hide it away you know because i was starting to be ashamed somehow i was putting in the weight and people think i'm happy i was putting in the weight and it was part of the fact that i was depressed you know we deal with it differently we deal with it differently some people opt to have to self-cut themselves it's really a dark hole guys i know that i'm rambling and i'm actually all over the place but it's not easy and every time i try to reflect back on my life i do that self-introspection i always tell myself that you know what if there's ever one moment that i wish i could go back to knowing that i was truly happy you know i wasn't aware of whatever that was happening i didn't really have a big idea of what life is on about however the best or one of the greatest moments that i wouldn't mind having to go back to is being a child again you know because things were done for you things were given to you and all you had to say was that was to ask please to say please 
thank you i appreciate it and life went on however the more you get to grow up is the more you get to realize that life is not what it seems life is truly hard guys i won't lie to you and try to sugarcoat things and i'm also learning uh or rather have discovered that the life that you see in social media is so different as per the actual lives that people live because it's very difficult out there things on social media are being made out to be as cute fine clean out you know as if it's a life of a fairy tale guys reality is different reality is different people are grieving out there people are hurting out there people are trying to fight battles of the unknown and if there's ever one thing that i ask for at this given moment or pray for rather is that i ask and pray that my friends heal from whatever things that they do not talk about that being also including family members i pray that whoever is or is currently going through whatever that i'm going through too or can relate to it or whatever that you personally are going through because i feel like everyone is going through their own own different encounters and life experiences i do hope that you heal from that you know i do hope that you heal from that and continue praying and fighting guys i am aware that i said a lot of things but i hope you make sense of whatever that i was trying to put across there because to this day when i think of it it makes me emotional and i'm a fighting not to cry on camera because number one makeup is expensive <laughs> and <laughs> i'm joking but i'm avoiding having to cry in front of camera because this is something that i'm trying to bury i'm trying to bury um that experience those kind of feelings i'm trying to overcome them i'm trying to not let them consume me and yeah i really do not want to, for this video to be the longest but i hope you got to understand what i was trying to put across there and i'll try to do right by me i'm going to try actually what i'm not gonna try i'm going to continue being myself the Tiamo that you know to those that have a personal relationship with me or to those that would like to know me. I'm a kind person, I'm a good person, I'm a people's person. And just like any, any other gay or any other individual, I aspire to great heights of success, prosperity. I'd like to grow as an individual. And I hope to do better at that and be focused and more vigilant of the kind of relationship that I keep around. Because sometimes you tend to give too much into your relationship to a point where it legit starts consuming you as an individual and you don't see how toxic that relationship is until the end so i hope that you got to understand what i was trying to put across there and from me me your personal faith guys love, and i hope that we're going to continue in in being part of this family channel and i'll see you on my other content creations or uploads i love you bye